had to be what? <laughs> I mean, I'm gonna keep saying it. You guys smash 30k likes, that's why we're here. So you gotta smash it. You just gotta smash the 30k likes. All right? I'll never understand why people, they go to the video and they don't smash like. It's like, what the heck's wrong with you? That's what I wonder. I don't know. Maybe you don't got thumbs or fingers. It's possible. <laughs> Some people, you know, <laughs> I don't think it's that many. I'm just saying. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna start this episode by saying, uh, I don't trust Biakia at all. All right, I, some of you guys be getting mad at me for not trusting some of these characters, but when they say such fishy things, what else am I supposed to believe? All right, I have two theories before we start this class trial because you know, these are gonna take a while. I believe he's very evil. I mean, he's he's proven that he's really evil by the things that he says to us. Like he, he's very manipulative. Mani <laughs> Manip uh, yeah, you get the point. I think, and I don't know, I could be wrong. I think he manipulated Toko into killing, uh, can't remember her name. I'm still trying to remember all the names. Chihiro, who is surprisingly not grayed out because she is very dead. <laughs> so it may have been Toko that did it, but not really. It was really Biakia that did it because he's an evil person. Could be wrong. Let's find out, right? As always, we meet in here. Yes. There's a, yeah, I'm gonna try to just go straight to the trial. Yeah, Toko's not here. Oh, oh crap. Okay, that's actually really important. And Toko is, you really don't remember. Kidding, just kidding. How could I forget that, <laughs> that little nut job? <laughs> so mean. A lot of you guys uh, like Toko too. You've been drawing fan arts and stuff and sending them to me. She's a crucial part of the class trial this what time. What are you gonna do? Okie dokie. I'll go ahead and drag her out here. Kicking and screaming just one moment, please. <laughs> and just like that, a few minutes later, he reappeared dragging Toko behind him. <laughs> I told him I didn't want to, but he forced me. I can't believe you would drag a girl around. <laughs> oh my god. Thumbnail. <laughs> terrible, you're terrible! Woo, so now everyone's here, right? Okay, then hustle into the elevator. Let's get the show on the road. This is gonna be an interesting one because we have a very uh, interesting dynamic to this story. We don't really know who did it this time. The first try was just so easy to figure out. I'm just saying, like, he framed it so well. Like, he had it so perfectly figured out that he's trying to frame uh, Toko that, you know, that, to, that killed her, whatever. What do you think? I redecorated. Isn't it so fresh? Isn't it so exciting? <laughs> Don't waste our time with stupid questions. Let's get this over with. Good. You're repairing. Repairing. Forget it. <laughs> All right, let's freaking do this, man. Smash like. <laughs> I'm just gonna say it. Sprinkle a smash like throughout the video. All right, we don't have to go through all the freaking tutorials anymore because I actually know how to do this. Uh, I was kind of bad at it last episode, and also. Disclaimer, I'm most likely gonna have to um, do the ending sequence like I did last time with the little screen right here. So it might look a little weird, but I don't think there's any way for me to get around it. Alright, well we have to set our skills that we got from um, uh, Aoi, right? Which apparently is Extraordinary Focus, increases the focus gouge by 2, uh, effective during the class trial, costs 2 SP. So we can actually set a few. Well, we only have like two because I only spend time with like one person. Oh, and it's already equipped it. Okay. All right. The waifu is literally giving me power in this game. I love it. But if all the girls are gone, I ain't gonna have no more waifus, then I'm gonna be angry. <laughs> Bro, if it was her, I'm gonna be so mad. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm gonna be so mad if she's the one that actually like gets killed. Oh my god. Is, I, like, I'm just totally wrong. All right, all rise. This is Judge Judy. Let's begin with a basic explanation of the class trial. So, your votes will determine the I know. if you can figure out who, who done, done it. it. <laughs> Only they will receive all right, all right. the murder weapon. Okay. This is like the Twisted Teletubby show, man. First, you have to make clear what was used to deliver the fatal blow. Well, it's a dumbbell. That's why I try to remember correctly. Make your argument. All right, you know, I actually have to try to remember how to play this. Chihiro's fatal injury. All right. It appears it was a head wound. From a dumbbell. The, Monokuma farm, the killer used a blunt instrument. But what kind of blunt instrument could it have been? I know. I know what I it is. It was an iron pipe. No! Objection! Ah, <laughs> crap! That certainly would make for a powerful weapon. No, no, continue. They're probably gonna give me less time during this trial because we've already done one. Alright, I know what to do. I, I just screwed up. Takara sounds like she smoked 50 packs of cigarettes. You're stupid! Were you not there? <laughs> Can we agree that the object that dealt the fatal blow was the dumbbell? Exactly. Found at the scene of the crime? It was covered in blood. 
And there was nothing else at the scene that could have caused that kind of injury. Everyone else there is just like an idiot. It was just some kind of thing. <laughs> I don't know what it was. Alien object. Consistent with the shape of the dumbbell. As far as I'm concerned, there's no mistake and no room for doubt on this one. You were correct, you Kyoko. Looked at her head wound. Okay, Aoi, I love you. Yes, I'm already saying that. <laughs> I love you. You're my waifu, but you're kind of stupid. Yes! Well, I mean, what do you think people do when they die? Like, they don't just freak out. They gotta look. Of course, it's like traumatizing. If you don't mind, I will proceed. Oh, uh, here we go, Bianca. Let's just move on to discussion of the go culprit. Go ahead. Although I believe the criminal behind this heinous act is already See? quite. See? See what I mean? He's trying to like say, "Oh, we already know who it is." That's exactly what Leon said. Guess who died? Leon, what? right? Hero's killer is he's just gonna say serial killer genocide jack okay yeah did he really kill chihiro he he if there's any he it's byakuya byakuya <laughs> voice crack a new element has been added to non-stop debates would you like to hear more of oh, more okay uh, sure i want to know about it i need to know all right, for this debate, lines of white noise will appear to disrupt your reactions. The truth bullets will disappear if they hit these lines. So, oh, we got uh, obstacles now. Okay. All right, I'm prepared. Just cut out the bull crap with my bullets. The culprit is Genocide Jack. I'm sure. Case closed, as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> okay, all right. Why? Right. What makes it impossible? Am I supposed to be shooting these? Come on. <laughs> I should have. There's no proof for it. Okay, I just I, I have to so I have to dodge them basically. Of genocide Jack, I don't know who that is. <laughs> yeah, he, he's like no one explained it. Okay. As far as I'm oh, it gives me time to knock them down. Okay. So I'm just supposed to take them away. There's just no proof for it. Oh yes, there is. <laughs> oh, I get it. I get so excited. I not I call them stupid. I'm the dumb one. All right, I get it. I. Might know one reason. He okay, well, like we don't want to say this, right? We know, we know exactly why. What? Well, it was in the I archive. I know. What? That's kind of weird as Ooh. shit, isn't it? <laughs> what was something like that doing in the library? The why of it is probably more trouble than it's worth. No, go ahead and tell them, Biakuya. Tell them about all the secrets in your family. More importantly, it outlines all the specifics of every genocide Jack case in exceeding detail. Yeah, According I mean, come on, he's file, hiding so much. How could I trust him? Defining characteristics in every genocide Jack case. The first is that a bloody message is found written at the scene of every. Okay, murder. yeah, I know. You guys get mad if I skip things. I know, but like, we already went through this. I, I, this is gonna be a long episode. Oh, that's right. Boob Boob lust. <laughs> yes. <laughs> No, that's hentai Jack. Um, Alright? <laughs> that's a different one. It's actually bloodlust. But more important is the other characteristic. And it's something that has never been made public. Never made public? What the hell is it? Why don't you tell them, Makoto? The other characteristic for every genocide Jack case, which the world at large doesn't know, is obviously the hanging. We all know. Uh, how the victim was positioned, the bloody message where the murder took place. I always take- yeah. <laughs> the murder always takes place in a, in a garage. In every genocide just, Jack case, no. the killer suspends the body in a certain way. Other than the killer, the only- I can't wait to get to the extension however, cord because that's very important. Most definitely suspended in the same way. So, how did the culprit know about this when only high-level police officials were aware of it? There's only one logical answer I can think of. It's because the culprit in this case is the real genocide Jack. Stop freaking, uh, uh, shaking so much. You make me mad. Way. You're saying genocide Jack is oh God. one of Guys, yes, yes. yes. In fact, genocide Jack's true identity. Oh, he's just coming out and saying it. You lie! You lie! Oh, he lie! Whoa, he fooled me? He fooled me actually likes her? I thought they hated each other because they like, always argued. Or whatever. Remember, yeah, yeah. What kind of serial killer is afraid of blood? A really bad one. <laughs> is Toko genocide Jack? The answer is yes and no. It's because she has split personality. Riddle. Yeah. Man, why is this gonna be so complicated? I know, right now, like a riddle is like the worst thing. Just come out and say it. I got it. Let's do this. 
Oh, it's right to play that freaking uh, game. Um, oh, wait. <laughs> I don't even know the word they're, they're thinking of. I know what it is. Oh, phobia. It's gonna be phobia. No, what? Did I not hit it enough? Wait, 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 wait. Phobia. What? So? I'm so confused again. Schizophr- Oh, skits- Skits- It is that. Skits, but why is it- No, it's S. <laughs> I don't know how to spell, apparently. No! <laughs> what am I doing? Oh my god! What is the word? I don't- I've obviously never heard this word in my life! So, like, it's not- There's no way! Skit- Okay, am I looking for O? Oh my god, whatever. I got it. <laughs> now I, I only lost like two lives. Okay. Is it because Genocide Jack has a split personality? What? <laughs> huh? I would have never I guessed. Think I read that somewhere and they thought that the suspect might have, what did they call it? Dissociative identity disorder. Oh, okay. But still, to go and say that about Ms. Fukawa is perfectly acceptable. Nope. Ah, uh, cut that out. Toko's cut it out. strange behavior after seeing the body is proof enough that she has a split personality. Where, where's Kyoko in all of this? How come she isn't speaking if she's usually the, always the one that say, well, no, hold up. Wait a second. Hold the, pump the brakes a little bit. The one thing that uh, shows Toko could have a split personality was her behavior. Well, yeah, obviously her behavior changed. I got it. You're talking about how she started acting totally She was acting disoriented. Right? That's right. Think back. She fainted when she saw Chihiro's corpse, and then, when she woke up... <laughs> she did the whole tongue thing. <laughs> it freaked everyone out, including me. I was more freaked out than anybody. Maybe she was thirsty. Did no one try to give her water? <laughs> like... <laughs> she was acting funny, that's for sure. That melancholy tone of hers completely disappeared. Yeah. Don't go assigning adjectives to my tone without permission. Oh. <laughs> kind of feel bad for her, especially if she was manipulated. And saw Chihiro's body again, she was utterly calm. In other words, within her is one personality that can't handle blood, and one that obviously can. <laughs> so when Toko. But it would be so messed up, room, it's not her fault. It's because she was scared of Genocide Jack? Even if it was true, it would be messed up because, like, she literally can't do anything about it. Like, that's just not fair, man. I guess this game isn't fair. It's not really supposed to be fair. The reason she locked herself in her room wasn't to keep other people from getting in. It was to keep her other personality from getting out. She's never acted this way before. There was never any other signs for many of the other times that we've talked about her until... Byakuya started interacting with her and also the fact that he was hiding something and he definitely didn't want to talk about it Now, why would he need to do that? Hmm? What? I, I really I'm really betting that he's the mastermind Toko was afraid afraid of the murderous fiend inside of her of killing even more people uh, How? Yeah how can you know all this? Yeah. I do believe you misunderstood her. What she's trying to say isn't, how can you know all this? No. What she wants to know is, how could you tell them? Huh? Last night, I, I don't just either. before Monokuma gave his motive speech, Toko and I had a strange conversation. Oh, is this the conversation? She told me a most interesting story. She said, a murderous fiend lived within her, and she was afraid it could appear and attack at any time. I think she was like referring to her, um, how she felt about you. <laughs> and that trepidation is what's caused her to have such a bleak attitude. Isn't that right, Toko? It was it? <laughs> this is all a lie. Right, Toko? You said you wouldn't tell anyone. Oh. Was I wrong? What? <laughs> you promised? I can't believe you lied! Well, I mean, come on! You look at you, you trusting here. only yourself to blame. You came to me with your tragic little story. That's dirty. I didn't ask you to. This is the real world, not some romantic fantasy fairy tale. <laughs> oh, so is the trial over? Is it done? Besides, you broke your promise first. What promise? You said that as long as you were here, no matter what, you wouldn't let Genocide Jack kill anyone. But in spite of that promise... No, I don't believe it! <laughs> I still don't believe it. Now, I just really think that she's not the one that did it. Because maybe she did keep her promise, but he did it and then framed her. It's just so simple, right? We'll have to figure it out, okay? Why were the posters switched? 
Some explain, someone, someone explain. You said if I kept my promise, you would go out with me. Coco. Okay. That's Coco. the only reason I promised. How many times do I have to tell you? I never said that. Uh, you totally but did. You weren't able to do it. You just couldn't resist that rush you got from killing, could you? I, I tried. I swear I tried to control it. <laughs> but your efforts were useless. What a disappointment. I hate you. Oh, well, I thought you loved him. <laughs> well, the opening act is nearly finished. All that's left is to hear from the person in question directly. The person? Y you don't... <laughs> Wait, is she gonna, like, transform, actually? Like... Toko's body suddenly lunged backwards. A huge stud echoed across the room, but in the next second. Oh! <laughs> Hello there! Is it me you were hoping to see? Who is that Genocide Jack? This has been clickbait! It's Genocide Jill! <laughs> oh! What the heck? Wait, so who's Jack? <laughs> he just transforms Byakuya? It's me! <laughs> I would say I would say the same thing, Hifumi. I like Hifumi. Huh? Well, whatever. What are you gonna do? What I'm the heck? ultimate murderous fiend, Genocide Jack. Or better yet, let's go with Genocide Jill. Yeah, you know, let's be let's be sensitive. Who is this? <laughs> I, 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 I don't know either. What happened to you? Not Toko. That's a loser name. And what happened is a textbook split personality. But like, really? She but actually did it. Happens to be a serial killer. You should turn a blind eye to one's fault. <laughs> Oh my god. Like they say, sound and murder is mine, sound and murder is body. This one is so different from the one we've come to know. Yes, well, the world is composed of a front and a back, you know. Just like how every inning has a top and a bottom, or how in the depths of every truth lives a little lie. My whole life is a lie. And every dark and gloomy soul lives another that shines as bright as the sun! <laughs> Hey, you know, maybe you should like get away from her, <laughs> you know? <laughs> Can people actually die in the trials that are not like supposed to die? So this is the murderous fiend, Genocide Jill. This is beyond um, insane. Is Jack, uh, Jill, can I ask you a question? What's up? Some She's all nice. You might be the mastermind behind our entire situation. What are your thoughts on that? Well, I'll tell you, I am the mastermind of all masterminds. Just kidding. <laughs> It's not true? Of course it's not true! How dare you try to link me to oh. the Oh, they thought they- Okay, she was like the mastermind behind the whole game. Oh. And another thing. The police and government and society in the outside world are totally powerless. I mean, they just let this idiotic bloodthirsty maniac go buck wild all over town. Okay, so it's definitely her sure, that did all those things. Sure, bloodthirsty maniac, but life is pain, right? To live is to hurt other people. It's a necessary evil if you want to survive. The act of living itself causes pain for everyone. Just kidding again! <laughs> She's awful. This should be enough to convince you. This murderous fiend is responsible for Chihiro's death. No matter what happens, I still don't like him. There's that's all I'm gonna say. Motive, so there should be no doubt. I mean, it's just like, uh, like that's how he sounds to me. Remember what Monokuma told us? If someone didn't murder and graduate within 24 hours, an embarrassing memory or secret would be revealed. Well, let's assume that Toko's secret was about Genocide Jack. Oh, yeah, no, well, that's not embarrassing at all, though. Like Although it kind of is, I don't life. know. Toko's life would have undoubtedly been forever ruined. So that's why she killed someone. So she had a very clear motive to never have that side of herself it exposed. Makes sense, but... Interesting. Very, very, very interesting. But sorry, as much as I hate to admit it, I'm not the culprit. Oh, oh. Thank you, Jill. You're awful, but thank you for giving me hope that it's still Byakuya. Because if that's true, then that means I'm the best detective around on here on YouTube, okay? <laughs> so but she's I denying it. Anyone other than you could murder someone in such a bizarre Oh, this is this is getting interesting. Maybe so, maybe so, but nevertheless, it's the truth. Do you really expect any of us to Yeah, why would they believe her? That's exactly the motive. Yeah. No one would believe her. Maybe. 
Maybe she's totally right about that, but something's still bothering me. What she said, I need to get some more details about all of this. Let's do this. Come on. I am so excited right now. I'm gonna put him down. I'm sorry, Byakuya fans, but like, come on. What, am I, what else am I supposed to think? The status of the dead body. Sorry, but I didn't kill anyone. Oh, God. oh uh, uh, uh. Those are the hate really comments. Get him out of here. Any of us to believe it? Perhaps if you had an alibi, that would change things. Oh, an alibi, huh? Now we're talking. Okay, so yeah. Compare your past murders to this incident. The modus operandi matches completely. What more proof do we need? <laughs> so this is uh, distracting. Give it up. <laughs> you killed her. Okay, I just have to focus on- do I not- okay, obviously- alright, 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 I got this. It's got- I don't know, that's gotta be it then. I don't know. No, it's wrong! It's wrong! <laughs> I knew it! <laughs> I- I thought it was the same, but I know- I- I can't remember. Is really exactly the same? I'm not so sure about that. Yeah, I don't know. I think there's a slight difference between the Genocide Jack cases and this one. He's gonna be talking about the extension cord or the fact that there was no knives. Is there, it seemed like he got everyone else got stabbed. Oh, you don't know? Well then, human garbage, <laughs> let me tell you. I See what I mean? Look at like a scissors. Conviction. I consider myself a professional, and I have a very particular way of doing things. Imagine you go to a fancy Italian restaurant. They're very picky about the noodles, the sauce, everything. Okay, yes, you go to Olive Garden. What happened to Chihiro? It'd be like if that same Italian restaurant started using ragu or oh. Chef Boyardee. Ugh. Ugh, that would be awful. It's no creation of mine. Let me rephrase that. In a way that maybe makes more sense. There are two clear differences between the Genocide Jack cases and this one. Well, it's obviously scissors. Come on. Uh, the style of the but no, the victim's fatal injury. Yeah. <laughs> she was lifting. The cause of death is different. In the Genocide Jack murders, all the victims were killed the same way. Oh my god! Okay, so like, yeah, we can't rule out the fact that maybe, maybe the killer could have stole someone's like a uh, ebook to get into the, the the locker room, right? But I don't think that. I think it was Bialkia because it took place inside of the boys' locker room, and he got blood on the poster, which is why they switched it and why the the girls, the 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 poster of the girl was in the girls' locker room. They didn't make any sense. That's why I switched it because he did it in there. Why? Because he's a boy and he also didn't apparently have any scissors. There's no scissors. I don't know. So use the dumbbell. Maybe he didn't do his homework as good as everyone as he led everyone else to believe. You know. To the case file. They were all <laughs> apparently killed with a pair of scissors. Yep, 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 yep. But Chihiro died from a blow to the head, right? Ah, uh, yes. That is remarkable. Ah, you got Wouldn't it. Wouldn't it be strange for someone who kills the same way without fail to suddenly change their method? So would that be the actual like reason why she wouldn't kill someone just because she doesn't have scissors? If you can't, if you don't, if you don't have scissors, you just can't do it. So just keep her, keep the scissors away from her. One more conflicting detail. That's right. In my recipe of murder, if the bloody message is the tortellini, then the arrangement of the body would be the pesto sauce. Could you please stop comparing yeah, so <laughs> people to cooking? He's like, I really liked Italian food. I'm never going to Olive Garden again. So, are you saying the other difference has to do with how the body was arranged? That's right. The second difference is, uh, if I remember. Uh, what was used as a suspender for sure. I think it was also scissors. Do you remember what the killer used to suspend her? They used some kind of rope to hang her up by her wrist. But I didn't think that was actually a bad thing or like a different thing. Well, I just knew it was weird. In all the previous genocide jack cases, something else was used to suspend them. Specifically, pairs of razor sharp scissors. More scissors. That's actually, that would be very hard. Like, I gotta say, he's awful. Or she is awful, but you know, that's, it's pretty, it takes talent to do that. You know, some kind of talent, not really good for anything. I use my own specially designed scissors for the murders and the arrangement. Do you have them with you now? Like I said, I'm a professional. So naturally, I'm very picky about the tools I use. Do you ever actually use them for cutting paper? <laughs> Oh, is there another one? Are you referring to me? Oh. <laughs> Listen up, Big Mac. Why am I? <laughs> actually, one more difference. 
Huh? My word, you really didn't notice? Take a look at who the victims were in each genocide jack. Oh, she doesn't murder women. There's a pattern there, just waiting to be discovered. A pattern? Figure that out, and it'll be plain as death. It's like women. I have possibly killed that little lolly girl. All right, all right, yeah, I got it. Okay, it makes sense. I, you know what, I like, that's so obvious, but now I'm like, when I look, I didn't notice it. I didn't notice it at all. Girl. I got it. Is it because Chihiro was a girl? Bingo, bullseye, right on the money. What are you talking about? In all the genocide Jack cases, all the victims had something in common. They were males. Why does that look like the Japanese version of me up there? <laughs> oh, it's me! Ah! They were all guys? <clears throat> That's yes. Right. The people I kill with such passion and conviction are all adorable little Oh, so her crush on Biakuya was a deadly one. I can't believe I said it! I'm so embarrassed! Aww. The hell is wrong with you? <laughs> I can't help it. I'm just a full throttle boy on boy fangirl, and the mopey side of me just hates it. Okay, so she's in a talk. He's like, hmm. <laughs> now I'm on the fast track to becoming a full fledged fan medal! So, since Chihiro was a girl and not an adorable little male, you wouldn't kill her? Dang, now I. There's no way it was her. Italian chefs suddenly start making ramen just because they're both noodles? Don't be stupid. You know, the, the, food, the food references really do help me, actually. Passion and conviction to cross that line. It's the absolute reality of a one and only. We get it. You've clearly explained your hobby and your philosophy, but that's not all there is to it. Oh, really? It's Please explain. Entirely when you're forced to kill in order to survive. Okay. Hey, <laughs> what? what does that mean? <laughs> I would never kill for a reason as petty as mere survival. I, I, I know she's a murderer, but I believe her. <laughs> if by some fluke I did kill to survive, why would I bother with the message and arrangement? It'd make me the obvious suspect. Oh my god! She's a murderer, but I really agree with her! That does make some amount of sense. That makes a whole lot of sense. Whatever reason I have for killing, I would never leave out my prized scissors! Who would go out of their way to use a big, stupid, heavy dumbbell? Yeah, she doesn't lift it. She's never lifted it in her life! the dumbbell because you couldn't find any scissors in the school. Any scissors? Nah. I don't just use any scissors! I only use my own set of high class of the entire world! Okay, whatever. There still aren't any in the school. How does she make them? That's what I want to know. Like, does she just go to Walmart and pick them up? <laughs> like, like I, I would think that, like, after, like, the whoever made these special custom-made scissors seen the news about their scissors being used that way, they probably stopped selling them. I don't know. Maybe that's her livelihood. <laughs> I'm sure going too deep <laughs> with the scissors. <laughs> oh, she's she breaks them. She brought him out. Yes. <laughs> she's fully oh my god! She, I just really want to know if she's gonna kill somebody. Right, so I can kill anywhere, anytime. Why would I resort to She's like strapped with scissors. When I have my trusty scissors by my side. Go ahead, tell me I'm wrong. You can't, can you? Gutter dog. All of you. I just at this point wouldn't tell her that she's wrong because I would be scared. Not to mention, I have no clue how to tie a good knot. <laughs> so we're totally oh. out of the question anyway. <laughs> Well, it's not rope, it's an extension cord, but okay, you know, we're, what are we playing court here? I have no idea what's going on anymore. Could such a heinous villain really be innocent? I mean, but yeah. the body really was suspended, right? And nobody but the police knew about that. Yeah. That's why we figured it had to be the real deal and not some copycat killer or whatever. Actually, hold on here. There is one person. I wonder. <laughs> uh, I wonder. I really wonder. My God. No, come on. It's him! <laughs> you. Look at him sweating. <laughs> I don't know why, but his sweating face is funny to me. Because it's so obvious. Biakuya, it's possible you could have found out, isn't it? Uh, yeah, because You'd he told have us. no problem gaining access to classified government documents or internal police records. Plus, you've already looked through the genocide jack file before this Ooh, all happened. Exposed! We got the tea on him! Ooh, Are silence. Mr. Togami did it? That's exactly precisely what yeah, I'm saying. Right on the money. The theory of genocide jack being the killer so hard, he right? did! 
Uh, that's why I never trusted him. You guys haters out there. On her. So, he rearranged the scene to disguise it and make it look like I put my stamp on it. The adorable glasses man was behind it all. Oh, I'm on fire. Oh, okay. <laughs> What's your response? She's probably wants to kill him, right? <laughs> so now the suspicion falls on me. Oh, he's, be he's being really cool-headed. When would you say I began acting suspicious? Surely you must have an answer. Hmm. Looking back and thinking about it now, the way you were acting right before we discovered the body was a little strange. Are you saying, like, when he was reading? And the locker rooms, they're suspicious, very suspicious indeed, wouldn't you agree? Yeah. It seems nobody searched the locker rooms. Let's start with the girls' locker room. You wanted to go to the girls' locker room right away, right? But since you're a guy... Yeah, how would he know? I truly thought of the boys' locker room first. Is that what you want to say? The victim was Chihiro, a girl. Hence why I yeah. said we should check the girls' ah. locker room. Ah, he's right. Nothing strange about that, I'd say. <laughs> okay, On the contrary, me. there's something very strange. Okay, then. What's so strange about it? Go ahead. Share with the rest of the class. <laughs> well, she obviously is onto something. <laughs> There was a clear contradiction in what Byakuya just said! I need to make it clear to everyone! A new element has been added to non-stop debates. Okay, what is it this time? A truth flashback. If you aim at a weak spot uh, and hold down the left mouse button, then you'll memorize that weak spot. Then memorize face goal will be shot once as a single truth bullet. If you shoot or change the truth bullet, it will disappear from your truth cylinder. However, you can use the flashback feature as many times as you want. Okay, yeah, I never really understand it, but we'll get it. We'll get it. So, you said Byakuya was acting kind of weird before we found the body. Yes. He was acting weird. Oh. You're presented with the opportunity to check out the girls' locker room. <laughs> this is not appropriate. <laughs> take it. That's a natural reaction for any guy. The victim was Chihiro, who was a girl. So, of course, I would suggest we check the girls' locker room first. There was no time for pointless distractions. What's so strange about that? How did he know? Oh my god. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. How did no one even said it like we had not have we had not have found her yet. That doesn't make any sense. We didn't find her yet. So how could she how could he know? He just whoop. <laughs> I caught you! I caught you, I caught you, I caught you. How did you know that? Wait, no. Right? That was it! No, I don't understand. It, well, this is the only other one. What? Oh my god, <laughs> they're not gonna trust me. Okay, this has gotta be the combination that we're looking for. Okay, I, I was doing it wrong. I, <laughs> I had to figure it out. Forgive me. I'll tell you what's so strange about that, because up until we actually discovered the body, we couldn't have known who the victim was. That's what I said, though, so you, so you get it. claim that you went to the girls' locker room first because Chihiro was the victim. Ooh, Doesn't that is hold up. very, very smart of you, Makoto. That's a good answer. Oh, yeah. What do you I'm have now? What do you got now? Very interesting indeed. But your reasoning is still too weak. Oh, really? Huh? What's wrong? Is that it? Surely you've got more than that. Go ahead. Show us. Uh... It's like he doesn't even care. I've got him cornered, but he's acting like it has nothing to do What's with him. Matter? You're not finished already, are you? There must be more to it. There is. <laughs> I don't know. There is more to it. Think about oh, it. Th there you are, Kyoko. We just Come on. talked about the differences between this case and past genocide Jack incident. Oh, yeah, the fact that it's a, yeah. The proof you're looking for is hidden. Oh, proof that I'm the culprit, you mean? Well, he obviously didn't study it enough, right? The differences, but the differences between this case and the other genocide Jack murders. Yeah, I know it. I know it. Is the fact that it was a girl. If he knew it so well, he wouldn't have even thought. And also, the library desk lamp was definitely something that was like obvious because he's the one that said he knew where it was. You want me to explain it again? When I want to kill, I use my very own special scissors, and I use those same scissors to arrange the body. Okay, I'm gonna need like this uh, one round, go one round. It was some kind of rope, was it not? The library yes, desk lamp. It absolutely was. No, no, no. Then there must be something very fishy yes. about that rope. Yeah. Hey, Yakuya, where'd you get it from, huh? 
<laughs> oh, oh, but you have! No, but you have! I missed it! He's a crap. Okay, look, you look. Let's go back around. I only have two hearts. Oh, yes, you have. Yes, I did it. Okay, I can't afford to lose. Actually, I'm pretty sure you have. Yeah, because you told me. Because you see that rope. Or should I say, that extension cord? Yes. What? An extension cord? I'm Yucky, surprised there was no rope around. You've used the extension cord in the library more than once, haven't you? And the same extension cord that was in the library all this time went missing after the murder. And there's no way someone who uses that extension cord as much as you do wouldn't discover that fact. And Bianca must be the one who took the extension cord. I can't imagine any other possibility. Wow. Wow. I can't believe you came up with that by yourself. That's really what you think? Then your conclusion is something like He's this. gonna say, he's actually like sweating inside. He's just not Chihiro doing it. in the girls' locker room, then hung her up and wrote that bloody message. No. You killed her in the boys' locker room. That's the part I don't really understand. I think she went into the boys' locker room. Because she didn't want to be found out by the girls. That's what I think. I intentionally made it look like Genocide Jack was behind it. Is that about right? Uh, oh, he got me again. Oh, he's calm. He's not even... It's as if he's not even involved. Wait, not even involved? What's wrong? I asked you if you think that's what happened. Hell yes, that's what happened. So that's it, right? Biaki is the killer. I don't disagree with not disagreeing. He kept calling this a game, right? So he'd be totally willing to do something like this to win. Yeah. Um, sorry, but could we hold on just a second? Wait, is, there a, is there a surprise? I, I think we need to talk about this a little more. Oh, do we really need to? We've already decided who did it. I know, but still, there's something that's still bothering me. Is that right? And what, pray tell, is still bothering you? I killed her in the girls' locker room, then disguised my crime. Specifically, I dressed it up to make it look like it was the work of a homicidal psychopath. Yes, that's what I believe. What about all that bothers you? Wait. What was that just now? Something's not right. Chihiro's body was definitely found in the girls' locker room, but does that mean... Can I really just accept what Byakuya said is the truth? No, they switched it. That's the part we need to present. The scene, uh, uh, the scene of the crime. Yeah, scene of the crime. I got it! You say you killed Chihiro in the girls' locker room, right? But are you sure about that? Isn't it possible that the murder took place somewhere else? How disappointing. Oh, uh, shut up! <laughs> Just shut up! question is that? <laughs> Even in the world of disappointments, this is a true. Is lesson. it really, though? Biyako, yeah. She was found is that even your real name? The girls locker room. There is absolutely no question about that. <laughs> he's, just, he's acting like I don't know this How stuff, man. How could the crime have been anywhere else? Well, like, the, like the girls knew that the poster wasn't in there. They're not gonna have some anime babe in there well, in the locker room. Not that there'd be anything wrong with that. I'm just that saying. She was killed somewhere else. They can carry there later. Yes, we know. Rest of the murder scene. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, rest of the murder scene? That was awfully specific. Please tell me you have a reason for saying that. Oh, you know just that. about the I anime wife, do. don't you? Hey, Biakia, did you just. Did I just take you off guard? When the story suddenly moved to the crime scene, Biakia. Ooh, ooh. Maybe Biakia never even realized that the actual scene of the crime could have been somewhere hey, else. Don't just move on without permission. What do you mean she was killed somewhere else? Come on, Makoto. If there's any chance the murder took place... Oh, I'll show you. I'll show you. Exhibit A! I got it! The proof that she was killed somewhere else is... The poster that's hanging in each locker room. Your proof? Is some posters? The poster in the girls' locker room was a picture of a big boob supermodel. <laughs> but don't you I think that's kind of strange? <laughs> Why would the girls' locker room have a poster like that? Exactly. I those massive jugs of hers were totally fake! <laughs> I can't say you're wrong, Jill. Meanwhile, the boys' locker room had a poster of the super popular boy band Tornado. Exactly. Again, That's a little weird. That doesn't really seem to belong in a boys' locker room. So you're saying that maybe the posters were switched? And there's one other thing I noticed about the locker rooms. You know what I'm talking about. 
right, Sakura? You're referring to my protein coffee, aren't you? <laughs> yes. Protein coffee? While I was in the girls' locker room earlier, I spilled some protein coffee on the carpet. But I noticed that after the murder, the stain had been totally scrubbed away. Yeah, well, I was actually very thankful that you did that because I thought someone, like, wiped their butt on the carpet and it was pretty nasty. Uh, no, it's not the stain. It's not that the stain was scrubbed away. It was moved. I got it! The stain on the girls' locker room. In fact, I found it on the boys' locker room carpet. That's definitely the stain from my protein car. I would know it. Then, does that mean that the carpets were switched too? But why would anyone do that? To move the murder scene from one locker room to the other. It's certainly plausible, don't you think? What? In other words, in order to completely swap the scene of the crime, the bloodstained poster and carpet were moved along with the dead body. By doing this, the killer was able to change the entire room where the murder took place. I can certainly follow your reasoning, but why would the culprit bother doing that? Where did it throw us off the sins? Why would they go through all that trouble of switching the scene of the crime? Yeah, he wanted he wanted people to believe that a girl did. Because, you know, he couldn't go in there. Actually, an even bigger question. If the murder did take place in the boys' locker room, then how did Chihiro get in the boys' locker room in the first place? He stole Leon's- she stole Leon's thing. To get yeah. into the locker rooms, you have to swipe your- Yeah, we- I, come on, I already figured it freaking out! Her access to the door, she had no way to get into the boys' locker room to begin with. No, she did have a way, and I can tell you what it oh, was. he knows. I highly doubt that. Shut up, I'm telling you, I know how she- <laughs> Trust me, this is my time to shine! If he's right, Chiro could really have gotten in the boys' locker room. Yeah, we- They presented us with it. It's like the main character forgets. Is it really possible? Could Chiro really have gotten into the boys' locker room? Yes. I got it! She must have hacked her e-handbook! No, she didn't hack she it. the ultimate programmer, after all. Oh, crap. Yeah, she was, I'm huh? Sure that would have been no problem for her. Dang it. Actually, I kind of believe well, that now. I think that's it. But, like, it, she just, like, charged the other one or something. Talking about Leo's yeah. handbook, of course. Yes. No, that's wrong. But... Oh, it's wrong? I actually believe that, but okay. <laughs> as long as I get it right, I don't care. No, I don't think Chihiro used Leon's handbook. Why not? Because Leon's handbook was broken. Oh. But well, they, they then, were saying yeah, like that it, that it wasn't broken. There's just something huh? wrong with it. I am struck silent by how quickly you gave up. Plus. Isn't there a regulation against using someone else's handbook? Actually, the rule states that loaning your handbook is prohibited. It says nothing about borrowing one. True. In other words, you could borrow a dead person's handbook all you want, and you'd be safe. Yup, yup, yup! Hit the nail square on the noggin! Of course, if it were broken, that wouldn't make any sense anyway. So then, she must have had her, like I said. She used her ultimate programmer skills and... <laughs> You can't fix an e-handbook. The instant you open one up, a security buzzer starts blaring. Yeah, Monokuma so would know. She didn't use Leon's handbook, and she didn't modify her own handbook. Maybe Mr. Nayagi's initial assumption is just wrong. It seems like there's no way she could have got into the boys' locker room. So I guess so. No, okay, no. then. I vote for Byakuya. Oh, yeah. I do, too. Is that it then? Chiro was killed in the, the girls' locker room, and Byakuya is the one who did it. Really? But still, I don't know what else I can Hold do. On a second. I agree with you, though. I think you're on the right track. What the? You finally decide to open your mouth, and that's what you've got to say? There's no way she could get in the boys' locker room, right? So why are you so sure she couldn't get in? There's still one other way she could have gained access. What? What are you talking about? What other way is there? Well, to explain that, why don't we take a little break from the trial? I'd like you all to come see something. Can we do that? Can we just uh, have a, a recess wait, here? Wait, 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 wait. I need a recess, what Monokuma! What do you think you're doing? Don't worry. This will make the whole trial more exciting. I'm sure that thought was, must please all right. you. <laughs> huh? It'll make things more exciting? <laughs> Instantly changed. Well, all right then. I declare an official class trial recess. I demand a recess. <laughs> For real? Now then, what is it you want to show us? It better not be boring or I'll be very unhappy. Oh god, I don't think it's a good idea to go outside with the killer here, oh, but all right. I have no doubt it'll meet your lofty expectations. Now, you know, I want to so, know. Come on. Shall we go? Show me, Kyoko. Let's see this.
That was one thing I couldn't quite like answer either. Like, why did she go into there or how did she go in there? Right, Where's she taking us? Oh, back to the murder scene. Wow. The girls' locker room? You've already searched this place top to bottom. What are you trying to pull, Missy? I'd like you to examine the victim's body one more time. You want to check it again? Be sure to examine the entire body very carefully. Take your time. Just say it. <laughs> examine her. Carefully? Like using our hands? No, wait, no, wait, no, wait, no, wait. No. <laughs> it's probably best if I don't run my hands all over a girl's dead body. It's Come on, guys. It's not that I'm creeped out or anything. It's just based on religion. All right, y'all right? get back. I'll do it. <laughs> Very well. I'll do it. So these are big, strong but, hands. But you're a girl. You shouldn't have to touch a dead body. Just let <laughs> one of the boys do it. <laughs> she's she's more manly than any of us. No, it's okay. I think Chihiro would rather have a girl. Hey, you know that's good. Her. That's good. So just leave this to me. S Sakura, what is this? Some oh. kind of secret girl? I don't know girl why she scared me. <laughs> you two are about. That's not it at all. Stop screwing around. Okay. Here I go. I'm sorry, Chihiro. Please excuse the intrusion. Put your uh, oh God, I got yawn. <laughs> Putting your hands together, a brief prayer. Sakura then began to examine her Be body. Be sure to check her entire body, and I believe we will solve this particular mystery. All right, what is it? I think it's something we her don't even entire know. Entire body? I know you say that, but oh my God! Oh. Oh my god. We've only assumed this entire time that you, you know, I, I will just let you guys, you know, I'm sure you guys have figured this out, right? This is... It, what oh, is this mean? Oh my god. I didn't see that coming. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, why is there what why is she it? mad though? Not possible. It's not possible. Her mass okay. Sakura's eyes were staring widely at Chihiro's life as form. Her massive frame trembled. I think she's a, she's this, not a girl. This girl is or is what is a boy. And I, and I it's it's really I, ironic coming from Sakura, but holy crap! I really didn't know that. I mean, uh, I see. So she was actually a he. Interesting. Dang. Thank you for confirming this fact. So that would that that confirms it, right? That confirms what? it. You're joking, right? I wouldn't joke about this. <laughs> it's really true. Chihiro was a guy. The skirt threw oh, everyone what? off. You guys didn't know. Heck, I knew that right off the bat. <laughs> well, you kidnapped her. You should know that. Chihiro Fujisaki was totally a guy. He was a cross-dresser. Oh, the was really on fire. I wish I had killed him. <laughs> so that's uh, the awful. Awful. I don't know why I'm laughing. Huh? <laughs> so how did you know? Yes, that certainly does make things much more exciting. Now let's ride this wave of excitement back to the courtroom and get back oh, to the Oh my god, and it makes more sense. That's why Chihiro kept saying I want to be stronger, you know? Because like, as a guy, you know, I feel like... I don't know, this is just me personally, but I feel like as a guy, you know, guys tend to be more like, you know... Would want to say something like that, and they would be... They'd feel more self-conscious about not being strong, especially if you were a guy, but you're just like a, you know, a frail guy. That's what I think. Wow, that was I do uh, interesting. Apologize for keeping you waiting. Now then, let's resume. The yeah, but well now it just makes me. Just yeah. Bianca is like, I, I'm gonna go to the bathroom. He just tries to. <laughs> just stays in there. Pick up from there. Yes. Well, I don't know his reason for hiding it, but the fact is, Chihiro was not a girl, but a boy. To think that Chihiro was actually a guy. That well, I mean, yeah. <laughs> if I would have picked Chiro as waifu, I definitely would have been uh, in for a pleasant surprise, wouldn't I? And because the victim was male, he would have had no problem gaining access to the boys' locker room. Assuming his handbook did, in fact, list his gender as male, then yes, that would be true. Does does it not tell you, like, if they're a guy or a girl in the report card? It doesn't. And that's probably why. Uh, okay, makes sense. Of course he's 
handbook said he was a boy. He dressed like a girl, but he was a boy through and through. So then, there should be no issue with Makoto's initial assertion. The victim was killed in the boy's locker room and was then later moved to the girl's locker room. And the killer could have easily used Sayaka or Junko's handbook to get into the girl's locker room. Okay, yep. So Chihiro really was killed in the boy's locker room? I still don't understand the motive for moving the body, but yes, that does seem plausible. Well, I must admit, I did find it rather odd. I knew he felt a little off. <laughs> There was a certain incongruity to his female body. This is the what, is, what does that even mean? Situation. So now everything has been connected. All the mysteries have finally become... Okay, well, connected or clear or whatever. We still think you're the killer, remember? <laughs> oh, wow. Very he is not going to pull something out of this thin air. Very interesting indeed. When's he going to start going crazy? Uh, off in his own little world. What about you, Makoto? After everything we've learned, do you still think Byakuya is the killer? Well, without a doubt, Byakuya is the one that made Chihiro's death look like Genocide Jack did it. But... But I... I think he might not actually be the killer after all. What? what? No! But aren't you the one who accused okay. him in the first place? Who else could have done it? It would have to have been a guy, right? Although... Although... Someone could have stole the guy's handbook, Leon's handbook, but no, they, they didn't do that because they had already stated the Leon's handbook wasn't working right. So there was no other guy they could have used for a handbook. And you can't steal someone else's that's alive, I think. So that means it, it had to... Without a doubt, be a guy that did it. You feel me? <laughs> feel me? He's like, but I'm a girl. <laughs> he just seems to be too easy going about all this. Like he's enjoying us solving the. That's mystery. what he wants you to believe. The way he's acting. It's it's it it called it a poker like face. Doesn't have anything to do with him. And you think that might be because it doesn't have anything to do with him? Plus, the evidence he left behind was a little too. How can I put it? Overt. He consciously chose to use the extension cord, knowing it could connect him to the murder. But At no. Least, that's how I see it. And he just slipped you, up. When you found out the murder took place in the boys' locker room, it seemed to rattle you. And then again, when you found out Chihiro was actually a guy, if you really were the killer, that stuff wouldn't have had any effect on you. She's a good actor. So that's your thinking, huh? Well, it bothers me that you don't have more concrete reasons, but... <laughs> he's actually like, well, you you could have... <laughs> okay, he's just so good at making people... Fine. I guess I'll mark it as correct for the time being. Yeah, when it's your life on the line, you'll say it's correct. Mark it as correct? He's right. I am not the culprit. I just happened to come across the corpse in the girl's locker room and decided to Why? alter... Why? Why would you do that? And why was he in the girls' locker room? Are you f***ing with us right now? No, I am not effing with you right <laughs> he now. He doesn't curse. I'm telling you the truth. Well, I find it very hard to believe. Go ahead. Find it very hard to believe. You're free to be executed along with the rest of us. No, really it's him. The truth, then why? Why do you do that to his body? My reasons hardly matter right now. Uncovering the culprit is much more important, wouldn't you say? Now then. If it wasn't me, who was it? Well, I don't think I can say for sure without talking about it a little more. We're seriously oh my god, I really don't know, man. We're all good, aren't we? I thought it was clear Biafia did it. No, I'm with Makoto. If there's any doubt whatsoever, we need to explore every <sighs> possibility. We were so close, but yeah, I guess they're right. We all die here. That's true. Very well then. I'm with you too. Damn straight. Count me in. Do you not have a mind of your own? Of course I do. What am I, an ant or something? Anyway, let's discuss this all as a group one more time. We still have time to make our decision. That's very true. Our lives are all on the line. Excellent. Then shall we resume our game of hide and seek? But if Byakuya didn't do it, then who's the real killer? Who murdered Shiro? I really don't know who would do it at this point. She was murdered in the guy's locker room. We I already went through it. There's no other motive other than Byakuya. 
I don't know why Biakia would choose her either. That's the one thing I probably can't answer other than she was weak. That was it. She's weak. Or, I'm sorry. He. It's still really hard to... Okay. The killer is a... Uh, I can't be killing... It's not Genocide Jack, is it? No, it's... The killer's a guy. I was gonna say that. Oh, it actually would pass through, I think. You would need a boy's handbook to get in. Since Leon's handbook is apparently broken, the killer would have had to use their own. In other words, it had been a guy, but that's still not enough. I need to find some more clues. Oh my god. Yeah, okay, I don't... I can honestly say I really don't know Celeste's account. Isn't there a single clue that might lead us to who did it? What? I thought that was. Wait, the duffel bag. Where's the duffel bag? But did nobody get a look at the killer? I'm sure if someone saw the killer, they would have said something by now. He, that other guy though. I someone saw the victim at some point. Even that might be enough for now. Yeah, Celeste. Yeah. All we need right now is any. Any kind. Yep, I got it. <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> this is crap. You want to know who saw the victim? The killer, and only the killer. I don't know. Was that it? No. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, screw it, whatever. I believe someone else did see the victim before. It was Celeste, yeah, she told us, I remember. Now that you mention it, yes, I did see him. Huh? Really? Oh, but I suppose only Makoto knows about this. The rest Makoto. of you have no idea, did you? That is why you're all making such ugly noises. Whatever, just hurry up and tell us. Yeah, now I'm kind of, I don't know why, but if there was any other guy, he's acting a little suspicious, so that's all I could say. Right before night time, I saw Chihiro the in the dormitory. dormitory where... Yeah, remember that? Yeah, see? I saw the duffel bag. That's where's that at? Into a duffel bag. And why is it blue? What is it? Oh, a track jacket. Okay. And then I assume he headed off to exercise. A track jacket and a duffel bag? But we didn't find anything like that at the murder scene. It seems likely that the culprit destroyed them to get rid of any evidence. Oh, but how could they destroy them? They would have to be on cleaning duty, and oh my god! The only one that could have been on cleaning duty was... Wasn't it freaking, uh... Oh, I can't remember and his name right now. And when he said something that struck me as rather odd. Well, I better get going. I'm kind of in a hurry. Chihiro told me he was in a hurry, but why would he be in a hurry? Only if someone were waiting for him, I should think. So, Mr. Fujisaki was on his way to meet with someone, and then they were going to work out together? But Hina and I had invited him to exercise with us plenty of times, and he always declined. Well, I mean, now you see Probably why. because he was afraid you'd find out the secret he was hiding, right? Which means that conversely, he must have trusted whoever he was meeting with very much enough so that he was willing to risk his secret being revealed. Oh, a marvelous friendship! The point is, whoever he met up with is the culprit, right? So we just gotta figure out who it was. But knowing what we know, I can't even guess. Yeah. No, you already have what you need to make the connection. Do I? Huh? I do? I have it inside? You know who the killer is. Seriously? Who is it? Who's the killer? Oh my god, Mondo, is it you? Or is it- no, ah! Uh, I don't know! The track jacket and duffel bag the killer disposed Who was on cleaning duty? That's what I don't need to know! Focus on the details of these items, and it should become obvious who was waiting for him. Are you sure about that? You really think we can figure out who did it based on two pieces of evidence that we don't have? Quiet! You want to track down some fingerprints or something? Even if we had the equipment, we wouldn't know how to use it. As was noted, the evidence is already gone. There's nothing to get fingerprints from. Maybe, but we can make certain inferences if we just take the time to talk it out. Easy for you to say, but fine. Celeste, did you notice anything special about the bag or jacket? The bag was... Just a normal duffel bag from the warehouse. Yeah. All the bags in there are the same, so I can't imagine what would make that one special. Well, if I remember right, there was a decent variety of tracksuits to choose from. Do you think there might be some connection between the culprit and Chihiro's jacket? Who wears the tracksuit? Perhaps. Oh my god. Let's explore that and talk oh, about the jacket he took. But 
I don't see how that would be apply at all. It was blue. That's all I can really say. Uh, I really I don't know what I'm First doing here. We know where Chihiro was headed. To the gym. He was on his way to go exercise. Uh, so that's debatable. Ask, why did he choose the specific tracksuit that he did? What uh, do you mean the specific tracksuit? I got it. He picked that tracksuit because it matched the one the culprit was wearing. So what you're saying is the killer was wearing the same blue tracksuit as him? No, that's wrong. I don't know. I think. I think that was it. Well, it was it obviously, but like. Hold on a second, Mondo. What did you just say? Huh? What I say? When Celeste testified a few minutes ago, she said. I saw stuff in a drive. Okay. Then I assumed he had off exercise. She never said anything about the jacket's color. What? <laughs> no! So why did you say to heroes blue track? <gasps> I didn't even catch that! I did not catch that. I'm so focused on Biafia being the killer that I'm not even catching it, man. What are you? You just No way! He seemed so... They threw me off. Hey, Celeste. What color was Chihiro's tracksuit? As a matter of fact, it was blue. Oh my gosh. So she just would have mentioned that it was blue. That all... He would have been fine. But why? Before we began the trial, did you tell anyone that? The only one I told about any... Yeah, was, was that? Blue. Then... Mondo, how did you know what color Shihiro's tracksuit was? Well, because I, I just... Oh my god. I'm sure he saw the clothes at some point in the investigation. No, that can't be it. The bag and clothes were oh, sure... Was he on cleaning duty, right? ...the time we began our investigation. Then the only reason he could have known what color the tracksuit was is if he saw Cherry with it before he died! That's the only possibility! Cherry? Are you talking about Jahiro? So, how about it? Did you see the tracksuit or didn't you? <laughs> the face. Just by chance. I just happened to see it last night. He walked past me. Oh and my he was god. Carrying the tracksuit I, in his hands. I didn't no, expect this at all. That can't be it either. According to Celeste's testimony, he was in a hurry. When Celeste noticed it, Chihiro made a point of making sure the jacket was completely in the back. If you just ran into him briefly, you couldn't possibly have seen what color the tracksuit was. No, not Mondo. I actually liked him. He seems so nice. Apparently, he's not. Here, you dug your own grave. Perhaps. But you handed him the shovel, didn't you? That's why you said what you did. No, <laughs> this is so much. on the tracksuit, and it'll be obvious who he met with? What a bunch of nonsense. Yeah, I mean... Ah, now I understand. It was all one big bluff, wasn't it? Still so Your curious on uh, why... ...was to draw a slip of the tongue from the culprit. That's why you said you knew who did it. To put them on edge. That's right. However, Mondo was my target all along. I had my suspicions about him from the very beginning. Did you? But I why? didn't. What made you so suspicious? That's a good question. Because I hate him. <laughs> uh, the way he talks? I really don't know. There was a certain turning point that ticked me off. Maybe you didn't notice it, Mondo, but you tend to refer to men and women differently. Yeah, he does talk about a uh, uh, man's promise. You only call guys dude. For girls, it's chick. And after he was killed, you happen to refer to him as dude. Oh my god! If I once I picked up on that, give me the flashback now. Me that Mondo knew something we didn't. Did you such a that is a very, detail? that's a very tiny detail that I would have never noticed. No, I'm not the frightful one. Not nearly as frightful as someone capable of murdering a friend. Yeah. Mondo, Dang. was it really you? Did you really kill Chihiro? I, I. I, uh, I didn't kill anyone. You've been all over me, judging everything I say, putting words it. in my mouth. It's too, it's, he did it. What gives you the right to treat me like a goddamn uh, criminal? I can't believe it wasn't Bianca. He would never do something like that. This is a false accusation. It's true. My reasoning on that is pretty shaky. That was fast. Well, 
This does present us with a problem. It seems we are all out of lead. <laughs> my time has nearly Oh yeah, he did say he noticed something, huh? He did, he just didn't want to say it. That's what my little ghost friend is telling me. Oh yeah, that reminds me. Yeah, yeah, what is it? Actually, no. Now that I'm thinking about it, you're... No, confident. tell us! Does your confidence just... <laughs> um... Hmm? What, what do you have here? It happens to be an e-handbook. I found it laying on the ground, so I scooped it up. You found it on the ground, right? Then it must belong to... It's Chihiro's. Uh, it's Mondo's. I, I don't know. I really don't know. I got it! Oh, I guessed. I really you guessed. Chihiro's handbook was missing from the scene of the crime, right? Oh, crap. For a fact. I think I remember that now. Indeed. I was totally sure I'd found it. But it must hold some clue about the culprit, right? Well, that's what I was hoping. But it's busted. It won't even turn on. But it can't break. I imagine the culprit broke it to get rid of any evidence after the... That's odd. I didn't think the handbooks were quite so fragile. You're right. They're not. Yeah, that's They're what he said. totally waterproof. Yeah, yeah. Yet. This one does appear to be broken, as is Leon's. Sitting useless in the main hall. I think I know. I think just when someone dies, maybe For no. No, that's not it. That is a remarkably high failure rate. <laughs> Do you think there might be some kind of mystery in there somewhere? How precisely did the handbooks get broken? Uh, by hacking it. By hacking it. But. Exploiting a bug? I don't know. No, that's not it. It's gotta be exploiting a bug. No, no. <laughs> no, really? Shoot. Well, a weak point? It's it's not supposed to be that the handbook has one weak point, didn't you? I don't remember that. Uh, sure, maybe I let that slip, but I never told anyone what the weak point actually was. But if the handbook is supposed to never break, and two of them broke in quick succession, then... Then we can only assume that someone's figured out its weakness. You know what the weakness is, right, Monokuma? So, what is it? Huh? You're asking me? I think it's a necessary piece of information if you want this to be a fair trial. But if I tell you and someone else decides to come, it's all sad. It, that would be very not good. Just tell us already. Why would we want to break our own handbooks? <sighs> oh well, I have a weakness for pushy demands. But you're sure you will follow their example? Then allow me to make a special announcement. The weak point of my cutting-edge e-handbook is... When it's exposed to high temperatures for too long, it will suffer a meltdown and totally break! Okay, so it's the... They, like, put it in the steam room. I flippin' knew it! You knew it? Yeah, because I found the handbook yeah. laying on the sauna. floor steam room. Sauna. All the same. The temperature in the sauna can reach over 200 degrees. Strange how you don't get burnt, huh? It's because as your sweat evaporates, it creates a cooling layer of air around your skin. If the hot air of the sauna were somehow pushed directly onto your skin, you'd definitely get fried. That layer of air would get blown away. That's why you may feel a burning when you move around. So when you're in a sauna, make sure to keep nice and still. Interesting. I learned a new <laughs> fact today. From a murderer. That is a mere trifling speck of knowledge. Anyway, if you found the victim's handbook in the sauna, then the killer must have been purposely trying to raise its temperature in order to break it. Meaning the culprit somehow knew its weakness. But how'd they find out? Monokuma said he didn't tell anyone, right? Indeed. Quite the mystery. What if they found out by accident? What do you mean by accident? What if the killer took their own handbook into the sauna, not knowing its weakness, Ooh. and it broke? That is uh, true. He did go to the sauna. Of course, 
and it wouldn't be hard to figure out why. And once they had Chihiro's handbook, they knew they had an easy way to dispose of it. I won't say it's not possible, but who would have done something like that? I don't know of anyone who took their handbook into the sauna. I might know someone who did. Whoa! Seriously? I think the one who may have taken their handbook into the sauna was... <laughs> What? See, yeah, they both went into the sauna. Oh, it had to be- What? <laughs> oh my god! It wasn't Mondo! It wasn't Mondo! It was the other one! Dude, there's just so many- That's right! Wait a minute, he didn't wear- He- If I remember correctly, which I hope I do, he actually didn't wear any clothes, or he wore all of his clothes, didn't he? You seem awful rattled, Taka. Could you, uh, know? Could you be? Could it be you know who it actually was? In that case, there's really one. Shoot. Oh. No, 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 no. He he did, right? Okay, I'm freaking out for nothing. Uh, I really thought it was him. It's him. Oh, but he's his bro. He, oh, he knew. Okay. All right. I I was mixed up. Maybe I thought it was the other one that wore all of his clothes, but. Here's my answer. Okay. Well, still. Yeah. That's why he was like, no, that's Broski right there. Your handbook got broken in the sauna, didn't it? What? Why? Why do you keep accusing him? Mondo and Taka had an endurance yep. contest in the sauna not too long <laughs> ago. And for the contest, uh, Mondo see, just I, so happened to keep his school uniform on. I, now I just feel stupid. Yeah, I thought he was the one in the full clothes. I just he got wrong. He'd also left his handbook in one of his uniform pockets. And when it was all over, Mondo discovered that taking your handbook into the sauna could easily destroy it. No, wait, hold on. You've got it all wrong. He would never kill. I don't accept this. Show me the proof. The actual solid proof. I don't want to believe it either, but I found something that proves it beyond a shadow of a doubt. All right, here we go. Make your arguments. Let's test Makoto's assertion. If what he says is correct, then Mondo, you broke your own handbook. Hard me? I don't know. If Mondo's handbook is actually broken, then that proves that what Makoto said is right. Well, my goddamn handbook works just fine. Card reader? See, I don't know. I don't look. get. Makoto was wrong after all. Mondo wouldn't hurt a fly. So, it's actually so it's, so it's actually okay. So it's actually Chihiro's handbook then. In other words, if Mondo hands from that book, so it doesn't work fine. It's just not his. Don't you do it? Oh, I miss. This is crap. Okay. <laughs> oh my god, that was embarrassing. How long that took me to hit that? <laughs> what? Oh my god, I'm gonna lose. Oh my god, I failed. I really don't know. I failed. I failed. Piece of crap. <laughs> That's embarrassing. What? I didn't try that? Broken handbook? I thought I did. Alright. I got it right the first try. The handbook you have right now. Is it really yours? Is that supposed to me? The broken handbook that was in the main hall. Isn't that one actually yours? What the heck are you talking about? I didn't. Yeah, I didn't see none of this coming. I think Mondo swapped his handbook out for one that actually worked. I think he took Leon's handbook and replaced it with his own. After all, Monokuma said himself that Leon's handbook never should have broken. That's right. The punishment it suffered wasn't nearly enough to destroy. He did say that. So then, the broken handbook in the main hall is actually Mondo, which would mean that the handbook Mondo has right now is actually Leon's. But doesn't that violate the school regulation that says loaning out your handbook? He did it. He died. Well, here's how I look at it. There is a rule about loaning your handbook to another student, but if they're dead, they're not a student. It's kind of a great area, I admit. But no worries. If anything, it just makes things more interesting. As such, I decree that exchanging handbooks with a corpse is not- Well, Mondo, if I'm wrong about this, you're welcome to say so. I'm happy to admit I made a mistake, but- Son of a- Oosh! He's guilty. <laughs> What's wrong, bro? C come on! <laughs> bro. Tell him he's wrong! Come on, bro! You are wrong! You have to be wrong! Bruh, come Everything on! you just said is wrong! You made it all up! Dang, I feel so bad for him now, although I did kind of suspect him a little bit. Okay. <laughs> I shouldn't be a lawyer. Why don't we look back on this case one more time, from the beginning. That way, Dang, everything okay. will become clear. And we'll all see if I was right. Alright, we gotta close this case. 
Oh my god. We're barely getting here. Alright, so it all starts in the warehouse, right? She noticed it. There was a bag right there. That definitely goes there. So Chihiro rushed off into the locker room she goes. Uh, right there. Goes to the boys' locker room. Scan that key card. In. I could be wrong about that, but we'll see. He's like, hey, sup? As he was gonna go work out. That's when he was lifting those freaking mad weights, bruh. And after that, boom. Hit. Bam. Hit the dumbbell right there. He drops it on the ground. He was obviously scared. I'm gonna take a guess and say he put that there. He noticed there was blood on the poster. Then he took it off. So he put him in there in the girls' locker room with the poster. Biakia walks in with the... Oh my god. Why would they work together though? That's the thing. So Biakia, Biakia is actually the one that walked in with the extension cord. And then helped. Put that on the wall. And then he threw it in the sauna. Okay. Alright. Uh, am I... We actually have some left over now, so now I'm confused. Hopefully I did it right. The cure is you. First, Act one. Let's take a look back to before the incident. Did I actually get it right on the first Last try? Last night, Celeste saw Chihiro in the warehouse, correct? At the time, she was apparently stuffing something into a duffel bag. That something was a blue tracksuit. You can confirm this, right, Celeste? It looks right. With bag in hand, Chihiro headed out, even though it was officially nighttime. She made her way to the locker room, specifically the boys' locker room. But how could the victim, who was apparently a girl, access the boys' locker room? Ah, uh, oh no! <laughs> I'm already gonna die again. All right, I just had a switch. Come on, that was not that bad. Yeah, I just had a switch. Simple. Easy. Because Easy. she was really a he, which is why he was able to use his own handbook to gain entrance to the boys' locker room. So many twists and turns this episode, guys. This is insane. Once inside, he met with someone there. And the person he met was the one who killed him. It seems likely that the killer grabbed the nearby dumbbell, approached the unsuspecting Chihiro, That would hurt so bad. What? Oh my god. Oh, oh I'm dead. It don't matter. <laughs> and attack. Yes, I was right about that one. I was actually worried. Okay, so that's when that happened. Dumbbell fell. It was likely in the heat of the moment. The body was arranged, but the murder itself felt unfair. Ah, oh, come on, man. It was- I just got him switched again, didn't I? Unless this is only related to the whole- It could be that. I guess the dumbbell is kind of like pointless because it's actually right there. So maybe that's it. We'll see. You. Which is why the killer hurried to try and hide the axe. Yeah, that makes more sense now. What? Are you kidding me, man? Okay, he picked her up, then went to the girl's- the, uh, locker room. That's it? Okay. Whew. Okay, I got it. You can see my Finally reasoning. carrying the corpse into the girl's locker room. A girl's handbook was necessary to get into the locker room, of course. But this alone doesn't prove that the killer was necessarily a girl. After all, Sayaka and Junko's handbooks had been placed in the main hall. Using one of those, a boy could get into the girl's locker room without much problem. That totally makes sense. I was saying that it was like inferred that he already got in there. He is that when he replaced the. That wouldn't make sense at all. The dumbbell. It was the dumbbell. He moved the dumbbell. Oh my god. Great! I had to do all over again. It's so annoying. <laughs> I don't know that one. I, I swear I've tried everything. Obviously I haven't, but like I thought I did. Oh, oh, that was it. Okay. And that's exactly Because it doesn't really make sense did. because it shows him putting the body down. He and it picked it up last time. So what did he do? Did he freaking just like leave the body floating in midair while he put the poster up? The just saying. The poster they brought with them, they got to work. Oh, because Biakia. Oh my God, they there was two there. The layout of the boys and girls locker room. 
in what you might call a crime scene switch. That could have been the end of things, but no. Yakuya discovered the body and decided to intervene in the situation. Because of the mystery novel. Okay, that makes sense. He just wanted it to be interesting. That was it. So, after stumbling on the crime scene, he went and grabbed the extension cord from the library. And then he got to work. He used the cord to string up Chihiro's lifeless body. Then, using the victim's own blood, he left a grisly message there at the scene of the crime. He wanted to create the illusion that Genocide Jack was responsible for the slaughter. And around the same time that Byakuya was putting together this facade, the killer, having already disposed of Chihiro's bag and other belongings, arrived at the sauna. There, they planned to destroy the last piece of evidence. Okay, they destroyed it, yes. And just as the killer expected, somehow, the killer knew that the handbook couldn't stand up- Because he had it, yes! Alright. Ooh! Isn't that right, Mondo Arata? Ooh! I love the art, it's so cool. Nah, bro! Alright, we gotta wait for him to, di to die now. Alright, let's see it. You can't pin any of this on him! Evidence that he's the killer? It already already revealed itself. If I can somehow show where Mondo's handbook is right now, once I do that, everything will become clear. Alright, okay. New element has been added. Fever time and nega time. Nega time. I <laughs> just wanna clear that up. <laughs> No matter what YouTube caption says, that is what I said. <laughs> I don't trust YouTube captions at all. All right, again, I don't freaking know. Let's just do it. I'm just gonna figure it out. Oh, it's him though that I have to battle. All right, let's play this guitar hero again. Okay, I don't think I won that. <laughs> jackpot! I got the jackpot on him. <laughs> okay. Oh god, this is tough. Okay. Yeah, I know you have no idea what's going on. I hardly do either. Don't worry. <laughs> but I'm winning. I I think. All right. Oh, I've almost won. Oh, oh, final strike. Show me some evidence. You're dead. You're dead, mate. Prove it. I don't know. I won. That's all that matters. It's very confusing gameplay, and this is good for a person that knows how to play expert on Guitar Hero. Yeah, that's right. Mondo must have replaced his broken handbook with Leon. Mm -hmm. In which case, we can just check each of our handbooks right now. Once we do that, we'll. You know, gotta do that. Huh? Oh. Yeah. Oh, he's admitting. He's messing. I killed him. Oh, I feel so now I feel bad because he seems so like he's just like yeah, I did it. There's no point in fighting. He wants to go down with honor. Results A. No way I gotta oh. <laughs> I did awful on most of the like I, I did die a lot and I still got an A, so hey, alright, that's Okay, wow, okay. I died a lot, actually. I got no choice, man. After hearing all that, I gotta just give up. Uh -huh. Go ahead, Monokuma. Get it over with. Oh, crap, Ask man. for the goddamn verdict. Roger that. Wait, hold on. No, bro. No, no holding on. Time for the moment we've all been waiting for. Who will you elect as the blackened this time around? Will you make the right choice or the dreadfully wrong one? What's it gonna be? What well, he said it. Like I. Here we go. In case you're wondering, the vote was not unanimous. Uh, Kiyotaka chose the wrong answer. You're treading very close to the danger zone, Mr. Ishimaru. You need to be more careful. I refuse to believe it. There's no way he would do it. Sorry. What, what is this? Why are you apologizing? Why? He still doesn't believe it. He's such a good guy. Why did you do it? <laughs> oh, this kind of makes me sad. Oh, he's took a vow of silence, so allow me to explain on his Absolutely. behalf. The story of the murder this time is the sad story of two men. Oh, but for anyone who doesn't really want to hear it, you can really press control C. Okay, yeah. There was once a young boy, and his name was Chihiro Fujisaki. He had an extreme inferiority complex with his own lack of strength. 
he couldn't overcome his weakness. On the contrary, he tried to hide or bury himself further and further into weakness. He had chosen that as his way out. Wait. He wanted to die? Wait. Now nobody will be able to say anything about even though you're a boy? But no matter what no matter how tightly he wrapped himself up in that shell, the F40 complex might have... Oh, never mind. I, I'm going all conspiracy theory. Never mind. So basically, the reason why Chihiro went to Mondo is because he talked about how, like, important the manly promises were. So he thought he would keep a secret and... Oh, that's uh -huh. messed up, man. He didn't have to. He didn't have to do that. Oh! So to keep the promise to... Because... So Chihiro asked him to keep the promise to make sure, like, no one said that he was, uh... Actually, like, a, a, a boy. So he carried him. So that's why they changed the murder scene. Indeed. Oh my god. Um, so he kept the promise though, but certainly. still. So why did you? Because no matter what, I didn't want anyone to know. I knew it. So that's what triggered it after all. The possibility of having our embarrassing memories and secrets exposed. What? What is this? Yeah, what, what was the secret then? The embarrassing memory that, that he didn't want anyone to hey. know. Um, you know what Mondo did? He killed his own brother. Oh my god! <laughs> the ultimate biking leader makes all the hoodlands and riffraffs cross. Uh, okay, yeah. He joined because of his brother, and he killed him? <laughs> Almost every day, Mondo heard the gossip and whispers from the other members of the gang, which is why he wanted to be the leader, and he had to kill his brother for it. No matter what, I gotta Don't win. With me. Dang. On the amazing, on the night of his, his brother's retirement ceremony, Mondo challenged him to a street race. But during the race, tragedy struck. Oh, so he didn't actually kill him, though. His brother just was dumb and he hit a truck. Wait. Oh, no! His brother pushed him. Oh, crap. Okay. Ah. Oh. Laying in his kid brother's arms, the older brother. Well, see, that's not the same as saying he just killed them. I mean, sure, it was an accident, but... Hey, kid, the rest is up to you. No matter what, you gotta keep the gang stronger. Because it's the team you and me put together. It's a promise between men. He decided to hide the truth of what happened from everyone else in the gang. In order to keep the gang together and keep the promise to his brother, he could never admit to anyone that it was his own weakness that had caused the accident. And as a result... So that's why he had to do that?! Oh my god, this game is so deep, man! And so in order to make sure that no one's promise was broken, he had to kill somebody. I'm I strong. Just... No, I like him, man! I like him! As soon as our killing game began, he realized no matter how tough he pretended to be, he was just another weakling that could die in an instant. <laughs> and then the lovely, hateful Monokuma announced the revealing the secrets in that point. It was clear that I would have no problem shedding light on his secret. Mindo killed his own brother. Yeah. No matter what, I couldn't let the other uh, gang members find out. If that happens, everything would have been ruined. Everything meaning my brother had worked for to create would have been destroyed. His death... Oh, it's okay. Yeah, but it's basically what we said. I didn't know what to do about it. I wasn't sure how to think or say, but after a while, the fuzzy uneasiness turned itself into a rock-hard lump of anxiety way down in my stomach. It was right around then. The chair asked me to start working out with him. And right there, I... He told me a secret. Seriously? Uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I lied to you, but why? Why are you telling me this all of a sudden? Because, huh? I mean, you've kept this all uh, secret all the time. If anyone found out, you would. But You're right, but... I want to change. I wrapped myself in lies. I'm weak. I want to destroy that version of me forever. His words were like a knife in my gut. I felt like he was exposing the lie I'd been living myself. I had to change. I don't want to be weak anymore. You're so strong, it can't hurt, right? Whatever secret Monokuma might tell us. You piece of... So what you're saying is I should just say what? it. You're saying if I really am, what? I should be able to tell everyone my secret. I was jealous. I was jealous of Chiro's strength. He had the strength to face his own weakness. Oh, so is that a jealousy? Okay, well, never mind. <laughs> I thought he was all good. And that jealousy broke what? me. All right, let's roll this killing you? thing. Let's go. I, enough. Enough I talking. Get... No way! He doesn't want him to die! Sorry, man. I couldn't keep the promise we made from one man to another. I still like him though, man. That sucks. There we go. This is the part that <laughs> it's gotta be all weird because of copyright problems. It really sucks, but I, I can't can't do anything about it. This is the same exact thing they play in the anime apparently, and it causes problems. But how's he gonna die? Is it from a bike? I would have to guess. Oh, he's strapped to the bike.
Oh, he has a Pompadour too. <laughs> it's awful. The cage of death. <laughs> so stupid, man. God. Is he? This bear is freaking like crazy, man. Oh, is he being electrocuted? Is that what's happening? I. I... Whatever it is, you know. Oh, the heck he's gone. Oh! He turned him into butter? That's probably... I don't, I don't know if that's worse or what. Laugh at death and your soul will forever be at peace. It can't be. My brother... Another murder and another execution. I want to feel again. Alright guys. We're, we're gonna stop this here. This has been a very long... Uh, very uh, surprise filled episode. But if you guys want to see more, of course. If you stuck around this far, I want to say thank you so freaking much. And smash like. For more Dug and Rapa, I'm really loving this game, and I gotta say, when I when you think you know enough, or when you think you know what the answer is, you don't really know. And I feel like it's gonna get more interesting, especially as there's like maybe like one or two people left. That's gonna be really interesting. So we'll see. I hope you guys stick around. 30k likes. I'll see you scrubs in the next one. Bye guys.